In this video we are going to show you how easy it is to fit and install the solar fan solar powered roof ventilator. The solar fan can be installed by any do-it-yourselfer and does not require that you enter into your ceiling cavity. It can be completely installed from the exterior of the house. As you will be installing the solar fan on your roof you must first make yourself aware of all safety and building code regulations for your area and take all necessary and required safety precautions when working at height. Regulations vary from state to state and can be found on each state's government website. To complete the installation of a solar fan unit, you will need the following tools. A number two Phillips screwdriver, marking pencil or pen, either sharp scissors or snips or a jigsaw. Your solar fan comes partially assembled to prevent damage during transit and must be disassembled before installation. This is best done on the ground before you begin. There are four legs holding the solar panel cover to the base. The legs are at 45 degree points. Using your hands and starting from the 130 position and proceeding in a circular pattern, gently pry each of the legs of the solar panel cover up a few millimetres. The legs intentionally fit very snugly into the base and should not be pulled fully clear until all four legs have been raised a few millimetres to clear the retention points. Once all four legs have been unseated, proceed to pull the cover clear and set it aside. You'll notice that the solar panel plug has not been attached to the fan during factory assembly. The location and number of solar fan units required will depend on your roof size and shape. In general, a single storey three or four bedroom house with either an L or a T shaped configuration will require two solar fan units placed in suitable locations. A smaller home or a two storey home with a smaller roof area in a square configuration may only require one solar fan unit. A larger home or one with alcoves may require more units as the shape may impede airflow. The solar fan units are best placed as high as possible on a north facing facade. North east or north west are also acceptable losing only 3 to 4 percent solar efficiency. East and west facing facades are also acceptable, but you will lose 15 to 20 percent of the solar efficiency of the solar fan. Cement tiles are usually only secured on every second row and often only every second tile. If the tile slides upwards under the tile above, then it is not secured and can be removed. Do not remove a tile from the top row as it will affect the waterproofing of your roof. Using a screwdriver or similar tool, lift up the tile above and remove the desired tile and place it in a secure location. With the above tile raised, test fit the solar fan base making sure that the catches sit behind the batten and not on top of it. There are two grooves on the left hand side of the tile which will fit under the adjacent tile. Depending on the size of your tiles, one or two of the grooves may be covered. The right hand side of the base will overlap the right hand tile. Depending on the contour of your tile, there may now be a gap on the left hand side tile. Using a ruler, measure this gap and mark the same amount of gap on the solar fan base at all the high points of the tile below it. You can then either draw the contour by eye or use the removed tile as a template. Remove the solar fan base and using a jigsaw, sharp snips or scissors, cut out the drawn contour. Test fit and trim as required. Before installing the base for the final time, pass the securing strap through the hole in the bottom tab. Do not secure it. Once the base is in the correct location, reach through the hole and pass the securing strap around the nearest batten. Secure it tightly and check that there is only very limited movement. The solar fan unit is supplied with an optional thermostat which, if fitted, will stop the unit from activating if the temperature within the roof cavity is below the preset temperature. If you wish to have the solar fan operate regardless of temperature, to circulate air and remove moisture, the thermostat can be bypassed. With the fan removed, pass the two wires with the terminals individually through the conduit in the base. Reaching in through the hole in the base, either join the two terminals together, if you wish, to bypass the thermostat, 
or connect the thermostat to the terminals, making sure that it does not rest directly against the ceiling or insulation. You can shorten the drop if necessary by looping the wires. Do not cut and join the wires as this may affect the unit's efficiency. Insert the fan into the housing, making sure that the arm with the wires faces downward to the 6 o'clock position. You may need to rotate the fan blade slightly to insert the fan. Secure the fan with the supplied fine thread screws. Important! Do not use a cordless drill or a power screwdriver to remove or install the screws on the solar fan unit as you may accidentally over torque the screws and damage the threads. Carefully attach the solar cover to the base, making sure that the four legs are aligned in the slots and that the cover is oriented with the junction box, visible from underneath at the 6 o'clock position. Push the cover into place until it is fully seated. You should hear an audible click. Feeling with your fingers, make sure that the grating bars on the cover are seated into their corresponding holes in the base. If not, there is sufficient flexibility that you can gently push them into place. Secure the cover with supplied coarse thread screws. Finally, making sure that your fingers are clear of the blades, connect the fan plug to the solar plug and you are finished. If there is sufficient sunlight and the temperature in the roof cavity is above the thermostat point, the fan will begin to operate. Congratulations and enjoy the benefits of the solar fan for years to come.